Tcm.com right now and get your copy today before it's too late. Hi there, thanks for joining us on TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Robert Osborne has the night off. In the years before television, the dark ages, as I like to call it, radio was the king of home entertainment. Americans would gather in their living rooms every night to listen to their favorite programs, music, comedy, and dramas, especially mysteries. In 1944, Columbia Pictures took one particularly popular mystery series, The Whistler, and brought it to the big screen, producing eight Whistler mysteries in just four years. Tonight, we have a handful of those Whistler films, starting with the original Whistler from 1944. The first film in the series begins the same way the radio show did, with whistling and a voiceover that says, I am the Whistler, and I know many things, for I walk at night. The Whistler wasn't a private eye or a crime solver like Sherlock Holmes or The Saint. He was an unseen narrator who presented the story to viewers. In this first film, Richard Dix stars as a grieving widower who hires a hitman to end his life. But when Dix changes his mind about suicide, it turns out calling off the hit is not as easy as arranging it. The cast also features character actor J. Carol Nash and Gloria Stewart, a prolific actress from the 1930s and 40s, who is undoubtedly best remembered today for her role as the elderly version of Kate Winslet's character in the Oscar-winning Best Picture of 1997, Titanic. From Columbia Pictures in 1944, based on the radio mystery series, here is The Whistler. <laughs> 